If you're gonna use a card counting system like high-low, one of the skills you're gonna need is converting to the true count. And we do that by taking our running count and dividing by the number of decks remaining. Well, when we do that, how accurate does that decks remaining need to be? Can we just divide by the nearest deck or do we need to be able to estimate to the nearest half deck and divide by that or even to the nearest quarter deck to get to our true count? I'm gonna answer that in this video. All right, so I set up an example here. Let's say we've got a running five. We look over a discard tray, and if we're dividing by the nearest deck remaining, we'd look at this and say, well, there's about two decks remaining. Five divided by two is gonna give us a true two. But if we look at this and we can estimate to the nearest half deck, we look and say, okay, well, there's about a deck and a half left. So we'd say five divided by one and a half gives us a true three. Or if you've trained your eye to divide by the nearest quarter deck, we say, there's actually, to the card, one and a quarter decks left. If we say five divided by one and a quarter, that's actually gonna give us a true four. Which is it? Is it a true two, a true three, or a true four? I, technically, it's a true four, but how much does this actually impact our EV at the tables? Do we need to train our eyes and be able to divide to the nearest quarter deck, or is the nearest half deck, or even the, the nearest deck, gonna be good enough? So in the past when people would ask me this, I always just said, be able to divide to the nearest half deck. And the reason I said that is because that's what I always did. That's what I taught myself to do. And when we ran a team, we trained all our players to divide to the nearest half deck. But just saying do it because that's what I did doesn't seem like a very good answer. So I actually ran a whole bunch of simulations and I wanted to share the results with you. I put a link below to a blog post where I'm sharing all the numbers, but basically I want to share with you what I found. And this is what I found. Let's say you can just divide to the nearest deck. That's, that's totally fine. I know card counters that have made hundreds of thousands, as much as a million dollars, just dividing to the nearest deck. But the reality is, if you can divide to the nearest half deck, it's gonna increase your EV by about 5%. As much as 10% if you're playing all the way through the shoe. My advice, if it gets really negative, get out. And so if you play like I do, it's gonna be about a 5% increase in EV dividing to the nearest half deck. If you want to take it to the next level, divide to the nearest quarter deck, it's going to increase your EV by another one, maybe 2%, but it's going to be a lot more work to get that extra one or 2%. To dig in a little deeper, the real value of using a more accurate divisor comes when there's only a few decks left. So if you want to get the biggest bang for your buck, and you can look at the numbers in the blog post I referred to where you can see you get really the majority of the value if you divide by full decks for the first half of the shoe, but then you train yourself to be able to divide by two and a half decks left, and then two, and then one and a half decks left, and then one. This is also gonna be the most valuable for you because it translates to other games like single and double deck where you definitely wanna be able to divide by the nearest half deck. So being able to divide by one and a half or by half a deck, and half a deck's really easy. You just double your running count and then you have your true count but it's really in those last few decks that the more accurate divisor is gonna make the most value for you. But I also wanna warn you, there are a few downsides to using a more accurate divisor. One is it's more mental energy. So you're having to think a bit harder, and this is when I see people make their, the most mistakes is when they're trying to say, okay, 17 divided by five and a half decks left, and that's when people seem to make more mistakes. So there is a downside to using more complexity. Secondly, it can slow you down. If you're playing slower because it's harder to come to these answers, that costs you because every round is valuable to a card counter. Also, trying to be more accurate with your divisor can make you look more like a card counter. So if you glance over at the discard tray and say, ah, oh, there's a deck and a half left, that's great. But if you're doing the card counter head tilt, staring at it, saying, is that a deck and a half or a deck and a quarter? I don't know, let me think about it some more. That looks like a card counter. No one else is doing that in a casino. So in conclusion, Learn how to quickly and accurately divide by full deck amounts. Get really quick and accurate at it. And then start learning how to divide by two and a half decks left when that's what's in uh, remaining to be dealt or a deck and a half when that's what's remaining to be dealt or a half deck if you're gonna be playing double deck ever. Get fast at those. If at that point you get bored and you want more of a challenge, learn how to divide by three and a half and four and a half and five and a half or if you're playing eight deck games, six and a half, seven and a half decks remaining. You can learn those, it's, it's gonna add some EV. My advice, don't bother with quarter decks. It's gonna be a lot of mental fatigue. It's gonna be a lot of work for one or 2% more EV. That's assuming you can do it as quickly as dividing by half decks or full decks. So hopefully that's helpful for you. If you're still working on true count conversion, 
One of the resources that's part of a Blackjack Apprenticeship membership, along with the video course and all the other training drills and everything else, is a true count drill. So if you want to become a member, check it out. You can learn how to divide by full deck amounts or half deck amounts and really refine that skill quickly and accurately. But regardless, get the skill down, take the casino's money.